Hello everybody, welcome back to the farm. I've not vlogged in a while because it's been raining a lot. And yeah, this is our new baler. We sold the other one, just to have a good change. And yeah, we're using the John Deere 4440 today. It's a nice wee tractor this. I'll check out the sheep later. So yeah, Harry says he wants... What is that thing there? Anyway, I'll just tell you real quick. Harry says he wants to fill bales now because, you know, obviously the bunkers are full now. Or silage covered over. So, yeah. That's our baler. Yo. Is that some kind of American classic? Goodness me, I must go take a look at that. I must get a look. Oh my goodness. It is an American classic. Goodness me, was it in there? Hmm. I don't know how it'll fit. It would only just fit, I'd say. Just have a guess. Goodness me, look at it. Awesome she looks. Where's I? Must be nice. Yeah, as I said before, I always animate the door as he doesn't want his face shown. William didn't want his face, his face shown either, so yeah, I have to animate the door. Hello Harry, did William have that, you know, when he was, like, younger? He got that car when he was 30 years old. Just me, she's looking nice, was she in that shed there? She was. And yeah, I think she's like an American classic. Well, she is. Well, yeah. Well, are you selling her? Are you hoping that I'm going to buy it for it, okay? Um, yeah, I could buy it. Might if I just get a look and have a little test drive? Alright, thank you. I'll do it in the yard. Alright, thanks. Goodness me, he's given this to me. That means I have two cars. A pickup and this thing. What's she have in the back? Oh, she has a tow hitch. Goodness me, a tow hitch. Well, let's hop into her then. Wow. It's even got a fan. This thing is old. It's like 1970s source style, 1960s. Not too sure, but yeah. Vintage. Let's start her up. Hmm. When you start her up, the fan starts. You guys are not going to hear because of the John Deere. Right, let's switch her off. Yeah, you guys wouldn't hear because that John Deere. It's really loud. You wouldn't hear it. Hmm. It's just quite quiet. Oh, she moves. She goes reversing as well. William got this when he was 30. Well, somewhere in his 30s. Harry can't remember. Uh, yeah, John Deere's blocking away, but yeah. Let me just go around. Beacons! We're going to get a flat battery. There we are. Goodness me. If I have a flat battery, I won't be able to drive her own. You can tell this thing's American. Was the fan and all that. Must be just, yeah, welded on. Screwed on, I should say. I'm just trying to manoeuvre here. Oh, she's just no licence plate. Hmm. Oh, she's a lizard. Hmm. Yeah, it is like an American brand, yeah. Uh, what should I say there? Continental. Ah. Oh. A lizard continental. Now that is one classic car. Look at the size of the boot, or you Americans call it a trunk. Goodness me, the size of it! I could fit a few logs into there, but this will be my get around vehicle, you know, for going shopping. Instead of taking a dirty pickup truck, you know. This car is awesome. Well, some people call it a sick car. What's that? Well, it's like a wee aerial. You can extend it as well. Well, I don't usually listen to radio, so it's all right. Let's take her for a wee drive. Wow! Let's get the drone up. Well, yeah, she does drive really well. Let's see if she does do. 
Yeah, I don't know where he found it. Yeah, he found it in that shed, yeah. I thought it was that one there because the door was open. Yeah, the other's still there. Wow. I can't believe I'm having it. Goodness me, how much does he want for it? It, is, it can't be free. Seriously. It's been well looked after. I must ask him if it's been restored. I must ask him that. I'm acting like wheeler dealers here. Like can, they buy a car and take it for a test drive. I'm acting like wheeler dealers. Yeah. If you guys know the programme. Not going to tell you anything else though in case I get copyrighted. I shouldn't. But yeah. And I'll reverse a bit more. Don't want to crash her straight away now. I'll just switch her off. In case the price is too much. Because I've only got about £10,000. So yeah, I've been petting all that. So I'm not sure this for her. What, for free? Oh, come on, you've got to take something for it. It can't be free now. 2000 How about 2600 2650 Yep, I'm happy to pay that. There you are, Harry. Right. Guys, I just bought this car for £2,600. I forgot if I forgot if it was restored. Yeah, I forgot to ask you one question. Has it been restored? Never! Oh my goodness, never been restored. Well looked after anyway. Well thanks, Harry. I'm gonna enjoy driving this thing. Yeah, second American classic. This thing's awesome. Well, well, we'll have to start the bailing. We're not going to do it all today. He says it should really dry out a bit more. But some grass has dried out, so we're going to start off first with some grass. And yeah, it's quite warm today. It's I know it's only 13 degrees Celsius, but still quite warm. Pretty good. Anyway, let's get back into this tractor. Yeah, I keep the door open. It doesn't open that far, so I shouldn't snap at all. Good. Right. Let's do some bailing. Hmm, he's forgotten about them. Hey, the straps are given up. So you can strap them on. Yeah, the straps are given away. We can do that sometime and then sell the wood. At our local sawmill. Yeah, you can see it's all right, but I'm not going to go to the top there because last time it was like really soft and I nearly got stuck. So yeah, the soil has been filled in now. Harry done it this morning. Yeah, these be wrapped. He's going to keep them in his yard. Sure, he's got a right few sides bales. Some over there, and then some in there. You can see there. So yeah. He is never going to have a shortage of bales anyway, the silage bales. He's got loads. Right. The beeper's not too loud anyway. Anyway, let's see the inside of this baler. Hmm. Seems fairly basic. It looks like them coon balers. But it's actually just a dukes for. What's the same side? I don't usually read the side, so yeah. It's uh let you guys see here. A very much I can't say that. I can't pronounce it. Yeah, dukes for progressive. Hmm. Nice wee thing. And a perfect looking bail. Yeah, I bought this bail just to replace the New Holland one. Just have a good change, you know. In your life, you've got to have, you've got to change something. How are them bales still there? Like they're out in the wet. The swaths, I'm quite surprised they're still kind of all right. Was I thought they'd have a bit of rot, but no. Harry checked them all early this morning. It's currently seven thirty-six in the morning. 
So yeah, I think all I do up and down because he says three of these sweeps are all right. Well, the third one is okay, but I don't want to jam up my baler. You know, if grass is too wet, it can get sticky, and then I can jam up some things in the baler. Like the netting can go on the wrong way and all that. So yeah, the third swath he says is okay. I might bail up a wee bit. Because I want this baler to be empty. Because I don't know when we're going to continue. So yeah, it's like on up there at the trees. It's like really soft ground. Like seriously, it is soft as a sponge. Well, it's just me saying that, soft as a sponge, but it's not that soft, but yeah. John Deere nearly got stuck. We are so close. If them tyres were bad, I wouldn't have been able to get out. But obviously the tyres have loads of grip. See, so yeah, I was able to get out without a problem. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of the third swath, just a little bit. As he says, it's all right, but it's not the best ever. Just doing a little. And then the rest of the swaths are soaking wet. So yeah, can't really do any more. Right, unload. Brilliant. So there we are. Made, there's three there, four, five, five. We made five bales, guys, that's brilliant. Anyway, we're gonna keep the John Deere here for a time being because we'll begin bailing again soon. So yeah, the bailing will resume, hopefully in another few days. And yeah, the sun's coming out. And our ground's not dry enough yet for the hay, so yeah. I don't think my grass is even there. I think it's completely rotted now. Because, you know, that thing tends to flood a bit. Yeah, floods a bit. And it did have a right bit of water, so yeah, it's probably... The grass is probably gone. Yeah, I should probably shut the door. Good. Okay, so yeah, that's Harry's car there. He's still keeping that one for the <laughs> the drifting about in here and all that. Do you not think it's too expensive of a car to do drifting in? I would have thought it would be. But anyway, we're going to head back to the farm, get this car attached to my trailer and bring in a few bales. Yeah, I'm going to vlog driving down the road a bit. And then I'll, I'll, and then I'll see you back here again at the field. Yeah, I know it's a bit too nice to go into a field. But yeah, I want to just test her out. So cars do get dirty anyway. So it's really nice though. I really do like it. 2,650 pounds. Yeah. Expensive. Well, it's not too bad, but yeah. I was expecting more. He wanted to give it me it for free and then I was like, come on, God, I've got to give something. You know, because I can't have it for free. You have to pay. How many brake lights do you need? Six! Reverse lights at the non-existent license plate, but there's nothing there. Or at the front, actually. There should be. So yeah, six brake lights in the back. Goodness me. <laughs> well, I suppose it is American, isn't it? So yeah, in America, you do have a right few brake lights on some vehicles. At least that's what I've seen anyway. Never been there, but I've saw like on the internet. You know, when I was wanting my pickup at the time. Yeah, the nosy and then looking at American cars. That pickup was actually made in America. And then it was ship, shipped to, um, you know, England where we were. And now we're at the south of Ireland. So yeah, our boat had to go down south 
ace if my compass things are correct. No. Not very really south-east, no, hang on. South-east, no. East, I think. Oh, I don't know my geography. <laughs> I honestly do not know my compass at all. But anyway, it's alright. It's not too bad. So, yeah. Goodness me, the size of these windows. <laughs> yeah, the size of them. Well, I suppose they are pretty big in American classic. Wind up, wind down windows. Yep. Nothing like what my pickup has. We could sell this in the future, but I don't really want to. Because it's like a nice car. It even has the wee locks, you know, the wee push down things. Yeah, my pickup's in the way of the trailer. I'm just taking my car trailer. This trailer's far too big for that thing. So, yeah. This thing is very modern. See, electric windows and all that. Yeah, this thing was actually designed in America and made in it as well. Shipped over to England and then obviously shipped over to here then. And yeah, that's my trailer. Dirty as ever. Nothing new about that. And I got the drone up. I should sometime toss down that bit of wall. This wall here. I'll just get out. Yeah. Toss down this bit of wall here. Because it's not necessary. Like, it doesn't need to be here. Unless I'll just keep it up, maybe. Maybe for a bit more until it gets like annoying as ever. Just for a bit more. Perfect fit, guys. Yeah. You guys probably think I'm. it's like automatically attaching when I'm sat in the car. Well, that's not true, guys. I've got this awesome jump cut. Makes you think it's in the whole video. Well, yeah, in the whole vlog, I should say. It's an awesome, awesome jump cut. It seriously is. I don't use it all the time now. It's only like for attaching stuff. But yeah, you can get the size. The car is really wide and then the trailer's like really small. Well, I suppose that's what you need in a 14 degrees Celsius day. A fan that actually works. I think this car's pretty nice. It's definitely a good keep. What a purchase it was. And I think, yeah, New Holland Blue it looks like. A new Holland Blue. Yeah, I like the new Holland Blues. Some cars just look better in grey, but this car looks perfect in new Holland Blue. Looks brilliant. So yeah, I'll have to ask Harry again. How William got this? Did he get it from an auction online or something? I have no idea. Hang on. There was no such thing as Wi-Fi in the 1960s or 70s. Seriously. There was no such thing. Hmm. Maybe he was there on his holidays and then won this thing? Hmm. That is a good question, actually. I don't know if Harry will know, but hopefully William has told Harry. Okay, so let's go and ask. See, so here we'll just ask here. Um, yeah. <laughs> what happened there? Didn't remember where the house was. Hello, Harry. So, if you can remember, um, how did William get that car? Okay, so he was on holiday in America, the United States. And then he... Went to an auction, well, he heard about this auction going on, in a book. And then, he was the highest bidder for that thing. Well, thanks, Harry, that's a good bit of history, so there you go, guys. That's the history of it. This car is super nice. I can't regret getting it. And also, Harry, I think I'll keep the car for a good while. I don't think I'll ever sell it, it's too good. 
Yeah. Alright, so yeah. So, yeah. Let's go. Oh, dear. The power car has to go through dirt. But that's alright. Sure, some roads are really narrow, and then when there's a car coming, you have to slide into the dirt, into the hedge. Well, not necessarily in the hedge, but you know, into the clay. And he did say that William used to drive about in the, in this field here. Remember, he owned it and then he sold it and then Harry got it. <laughs> he got it back. So he used to drive about in there, you know, just enjoying himself. You know, that's when he was 60 then. Or was he 70? Hmm. I think William was 70 when he was driving about in this field. I think one time they were doing hay with their old conventional baler. Like, seriously, it's old. See, I'm just strapping them on as I go. It's just basically a good thing to do instead of, like, basically, at the end, I'm just strapping them all on. Right, so yep, yeah, these bales are quite heavy, because they've obviously been out in the rain. In the rain, getting soaking. And how did they not rot? I'd love to know that. There's no rot in them whatsoever. Shall we check them? Forgot to mention that to you as well. Yep, yeah, you check them over. And I'm going to wrap the bales in the next episode, because... I'm going to let their water go out now, because if you wrap a bale and it's got water in it, and then you keep it out in the sun, it can actually, you know, you know, if you keep it out in the sun, you wrap it, the bale actually shrinks a bit. It actually does. It shrinks and then you're like pressing the cover and then the wrapping. So yeah, leave them out for a bit. Let them shrink now instead of having to use up all my wrapping. Because wrapping is expensive. I'm not going to tell you the price, guys, because, you know, I shouldn't. don't think I should. Anyway. I'm going to get these last two bales on, and then I'll end the vlog and continue the rest. And the wet area up there... Hang on, we just did half the field for these bales. Hopefully it's not too close to the wet area. Yeah, Harry did mention there was a puddle up there. So yeah, we're going to have to watch out for that. Right, so I'm going to end this vlog here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Till next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.